Likewise, everyone, this is your boy Dwayne here. Back at it again with another recording right here. Our 70s Grand Cross. And we're here for today with our brand new banner over here. As you can see, this is Queen Diane. Yes, she's also one of the holy war festive characters. And yes, she's indeed a festive character. A lot of people say uh, she's average, she's decent in PvP. And people say her ultimate, like this one, the Queen's Embrace, is not even that powerful. It can only be powerful when it is 6-6, six, six, level 6 ultimate, yeah. So yeah, you can draw as much as you want if you decide to draw the banner, that's up to you. But, and also, or save it for the next upcoming collab banner which is now slime yeah i did watch a few episodes about the series it's a very awesome series yeah anyways let's go check it out further and yeah they too also give you daily of these cards so be there every every day so that you don't miss a ticket or so so that you can get free banners of these these banners and both of them are at level 80 so yeah you can get them all for free doesn't matter so yeah anyways let's get right into it well, i only got one ticket so yeah i only had to draw this So as you can see there's a tumbling right over there so it's not gonna be a good drawing I might say so yeah uh, yeah that was basically it so yeah I gotta record this drawing banner every time I log in to the to Grand Cross for a ticket so yeah every time I log in then I get to draw and record on what what banner I gotta get so yeah yeah as you can see here uh, you might be thinking why can't I change this character why can't I have this character this Ragnarok character call herself Magelda. Well, it's pretty obvious. You just have to go to change hero and you can change the character whatever you like. You can keep it as Elizabeth or you can choose her, for example, Magelda. But there's still gotta be more characters available soon in the future upcoming banners and so, yeah. But the only five they have is only Mont Speed, Derriere, Lelia, Elizabeth, and Magelda. As you can see here, this is a lot of gems and a lot of tickets. So this is basically a whole month logging for the DN banner. So yeah, be there daily and don't miss a single ticket because those tickets might help you, you know, get free banners, all of them are level 80, it doesn't even matter whether you're going to draw, but yeah, yeah, if you do these objectives, you, and completed them, you get each of these tickets, two of them. I still need to do four more, so yeah. Alright, day two. Coming up. Well, it's 
I did do one anyway, so let's keep this one as well. Alright, let's see how this goes. That's pretty much what it is. Well, it goes sour as usual. Still no good banners for today. Yeah, as you can see, we're still busy with the Queen Deanne here. Alongside with other banners. And festive banners. Maybe sooner or later, I might get to draw her later. Yeah. And we hadn't received another card. Hopefully we get a level 80 this time. Level 80, you know. Oh, the hawk is here? Ah, uh, never mind. Wait, never mind. Oh. Yeah, we do have her, but she's already at level 80. So she's just another extra token. Yeah, I still have to wait the last two tickets before I'll begin on drawing this banner. Oh, I'll, I'll say um tomorrow I might get some more free gems according to my PvP rep opposition yeah. But anyways, let's go to the free banner and summon. A three star real Holy, that is going to be a good game. And it isn't. Well, I guess today is not today then. Oh, what a slice. Oh, never mind. We just caught ourselves this move. This is my level at Matrona Blue. And now she went all the way to level 80. That's a surprise. But I was expecting something else. Yes, the red Matrona, exactly. But at least I have that level the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. As you can see. We have Blue Matrona, each to level 80. I just gotta add that to it. Yep, and her ultimate move skills is now at level 2. Alright. I just gotta add one of these things. Super awakening. Super Awakening star number one right here. And yeah, you can pause that if you want to read these stats. Yeah, 
to worry. I get to pick any character I want to push to level 80. We are back yeah. and we have this Halloween DN over here. Yeah, a lot of people say she's useless and she's just one of those event characters that you can collect and so forth. But yeah, I uh, think that'd be a very good banner for once. I know it's gonna be a very bad draw. Yeah, I don't know if this might be. Let's see how this goes. There's nothing else. Well, another luck run out, I guess. But tomorrow is gonna be that day. It's gonna be a guaranteed banner where you get to choose either one of these three. Okay, as far as I know, my Sariel is already at level 18. But I only have to choose either one of these two. It's either the Dossiel or Tomiel. I really wanted to. I have great Tommy L just as much as Ludosia, but it really is a hard decision to make here since both of these characters are level 60. Right. Yeah, as you can see, he's still here, and you already see the expiring date right there. Same goes with the free banner. But we still gotta go, as usual. Yeah, this time it will be a definitely a SSR banner. I don't know if we can get two at once, but yeah. As y'all can see, my Sario is already at level 80 here. Yeah, it's pretty decent looking banner. Yeah, he did dominated in the PvP. Very helpful in the in the Archangel teams and the Goddesses team. Yeah, same goes with Tamiel and Ludosia. My Ludosia is at this level right now. It's gonna be a very hard decision. It would be great though if you can have both of them. According to lock. Yeah, this is where my new surreal is here right now. Yeah, I didn't even win this character, but I got it according to the tickets. Of its release from back then. So yeah. 
Yep, and I have this OP Ludosio right here too. Fist of Ludosio. And people are still using it till this day. Alright, this is him right now. Tommy L. I don't know when this new banner Tommy is gonna come up, but he will come soon. Like I said, gang, a really tough decision. I was really interested in going for the, the dossier, but I'm more interested on seeking of Tom. Yeah. Yeah, he is a bit powerful, but him, the dossier at this state, he's not strong anymore. People are not really thrilled to use him anymore since they have a OP Fist of Little CL. Alright, enough said about it right now. Let's draw. Oh, look who we have here. We have a hawk. Captain. Oh, script disposal, right? Yeah. Oh, so nice of disposal. Really, Meliodas? You still had their branch? Okay, there's a no go. Alright. I guess this is it. Tommy, yo. You're the banner that will be coming up in the future. Maybe sooner or later, but yeah. I might as well pick you right now. guys I guess there is that that's the half of this banner the next 300 will be these three girls yes this Halloween DN this holy night DN more like a marriage proposal thing <laughs> yeah yeah, there's also one of the Valentine banners here. And we have um Halloween Matrona. Yes, this Matrona is pretty much an OP Matrona. Yes, it, it's very useful in the bird. And I mean big bird like in Yeah Boss Battle. But she too is also useful on the big elk, yeah. Big elk demonic boss battles. But yeah, that's just about that. I'm more interested on in having her again. And I already have her as a playable character. Yep. This is how she is right now. Yep, I got her while she is on the way while I'm busy with my drawings and stuff, so yeah. Likewise, Connors again, this is your boy Dwayne here. Back at it again with another let's play of 70s Grand Cross. And as of for today, we have an ancient holy war event going on between the stigmas, which is now the goddesses, versus the Ten Commandments, which is now the demons, like like Saldus and Derry, Derry, all the other gangs. Versus Samuel and Tamiya. 
got to choose between these teams. What did you choose, say, let's go. Either Tank Commandments or Stigma. My team is going for the demons. Let's go. Yep, you guess it right. The new Elaine. My apologies for my throat. My throat isn't right. But yeah, this is a new banner for now. She is quite useful in the PvP and only in PvP. Yeah, I'm not so sure if it's good at other other platforms like a PvE, the Big Bird, or even this match, or even casual. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know if people got a the oldest banner if you're into waifus like her. If you guys are interested in her, it's up to you. If you really want to save gems, this will be an easy skip. If you're into waifus, you can do it if you want to. Yeah. Like I said, you can save your gems if you really want the collab banners to come out and yeah, to draw as usual. But yeah. And. Yes, of course, Diane is still here. Fist of Queen Diane. Alongside with the free. Draw special banners. Alright, enough talking, let's draw. Fuck, oh, why you wanna spoil my mood, eh? No, man. Keep. Yep. We begin the second half, and as you can see, it's bad. Another day here, and it's just for for for, for the second day that we have this banner banner lane. Oh, I forgot to show you some skills here. Yeah, there are a few skills here. It's a decent banner, but like I said, it's not worth drawing unless you're into waifus like her. So yeah, it's an easy skip. This is yeah, this is the same outer move as the other Elaine. The Christmas version. So yeah. Again with the bridge. I guess you like more with the branches instead of actual swords than the others. Alright, the letters keep as usual. Likewise, Connor's gang, yeah, this is your boy back at the game with 70s Grand Cross. Yeah, same as usual. I got myself another troll card, so which means it's drawing time as usual. Yeah, this is now the third day since Golden Wing Elaine arrived just two days ago. Yeah, that was Tuesday as usual. And the Queen Fist of the End 
It's been here for quite some time now. Like more than a week, I guess, yeah. Other than that, let's keep on drawing. Up another withdraw. Nothing much. Now what I expect of my, uh, that's just me. Yeah, same as usual. If I receive a ticket, I get the draw. Yeah, nothing much going on except second anniversary move is going on in this, in this ancient holy war. We still need to wait until it actually begins. Uh, that is, if these banners are gone, yeah, both Elaine and Queen Deanne. And also, yeah, the Spring Festival, the Doll Days Festival, is still on the go. So yeah, let's get right into it. Once again, a branch. Why am I doing this? No branches don't work, my guy. Yeah, another bad draw, I guess. Nothing, nothing in particular. Maybe there is a slight chance for even getting these banners to the level where they're supposed to be. All of them are giants and giants only. The rest is just small little banners. <laughs> yeah, but I probably got an extra saw here for this banner. Our team goes planned. another downfall yep only two more to go which means only two more tickets and then I get to reach by this move I had to choose either the either one of these three yeah like I said either the Halloween version of the end the marriage proposal thing, the end, wedding style, the end, or the Halloween Matron, which is, yeah, pretty much OP on the bird and also on the elk. We only have one ticket to go. I already have one. But tomorrow I gotta draw my last draw. 
What is free banner move? Alright, let's see how this goes. Did not have this Ragnarok DN as well. I just received my last ticket for today. For this banner before it, it runs out, yeah. yeah. I guess that's that. Looks like I'm not gonna get in a much phone at this time. I can have as another token. Uh, yeah, guys, I guess that was that. That was all banners that were used on. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and then share this video around. And I'll let you guys know for new content in the future. As always, solid vibes until next time. So that y'all.